Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You know, I just received the news now that... Uh... Today in the morning we we read a news from uh, news diggers, and I think we went to Watchdog, Koswe, Landscape. Most of the online media in Zambia they published the news. They took the news. They published that um, JJ, that guy Emmanuel J, who happens to be the the the. the I think the provincial leader of PF somewhere in the other thing, that guy handed himself over to the police today. And, uh, you know, we, we are all waiting to hear what is going to happen. And uh, only to, to hear that he handed himself over to the police, he was charged and given bond. <laughs> You know, I I say this. I always say this. I always say this. I always say this. Eddie Galungu does not know how to be corrupt. He's, he doesn't know. He needs to be taught how to be corrupt. And PF don't know how to be corrupt. Those guys are, are, are down. You know, everybody in PF, they are down. They don't know how to be corrupt. They don't know how to take advantage of people. They are learning. You know, you can't take advantage of people and show them that you are taking advantage of them. It means you are calling them stupid, like Eddie Galung is doing. How can you ar uh, 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 arrest JJ today and uh, release him today? What kind of rubbish is that? Who does that? Eh? JJ, according to news that came from Zambia, Organized a robbery, an aggravated robbery at Lusaka Central, Central Police. Not anywhere else. Lusaka Central Police. JJ, you organized robbery there. And even, in fact, in that robbery, one of the armed robbers was shot by the police. One of the Andropas was shot by the police. It's due on paper. Go to news diggers and read it for yourself. And according to law in Zambia, according to law in Zambia, an aggravated robbery is a non bailable offense. You don't bail people. You don't, you don't bail people. You don't bail people for committing an aggravated robbery. <laughs> it's a non bailable offense. According to the law of Zambia, unless it has been changed, I am somebody that understands law. I understand the law of Africa, the law of the world, the law of United Nations, the law of every country. I lived in Zambia. I understand the law of Zambia. An aggravated robbery is a non bailable offense. How come JJ has been released today? Because he's a PF cadre. Why is Sedi Galungu playing with the people of Zambia? I said it the other time. I said, look. Ed Galungu has destroyed everything in Zambia. The police is completely destroyed. The police in Zambia is rotten. It's rotten like rotten tomato. Few weeks ago, Chela Tukuka was arrested. Not even for a crime. Not for a crime. The crime Chela Tukuka committed was a useless crime. A crime of character defamation. That's rubbish. 
That is nothing to write home about. It's a character defamation. It's a, it's a case between a person and the person. It's not a case between state and the person. It's a character defamation. And that young boy was arrested, put in a cell. And that guy spent days and days in cell. It took us talking. It took different uh, 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 non-government organizations. It took Linda Kasonde talking before Chela was released. What offense did he commit? A very useless offense. He called somebody prostitute. He, he, he accused somebody of being corrupt. That's rubbish. In, in a developed country, those things, you don't even go to court for it. It's part of freedom of speech. But in a kangaroo country, like Zambia, the way the Galungu has turned it, that young man spent more than seven good years, seven good days in, in cell. More than seven good days in cell. That young man, he spent more than seven good days in cell for doing nothing. But this guy went to a police station, not even in somebody's house. Not even anywhere else. He went and committed a robbery, an aggravated robbery at Central Police. And today, he has been released. He didn't even spend more than three hours at the police station. He has been released. What kind of police is there in Zambia now? What kind of leadership is there in Zambia? Everything is rotten. Eddie Galungu is taking the people of Zambia for a ride. Eddie Galungu thinks that people of Zambia are fools. Eh? A car that goes and commits a crime in the police station, he was supposed to be shot and killed there. It was not, if it was in any other country, even a corrupt country like that, he was going to be killed immediately. If he was here in South Africa, he was going to be killed. But he, PF carried him and hid him. And today, they thought everybody's sleeping. They thought uh, no one will talk. They thought people are forgotten. Then they tell him, just go and hand over yourself to the police and they will give you bond. In, instantly, a bond was given to somebody that committed an aggravated robbery. Zambian people, what is wrong with you? Why are you sleeping? When are you going to wake up and discover that Eddie Galungu has destroyed your country completely? There is no, who are you going to trust? How are you going to trust the police? Before you go to and get justice from the police or from the court in Zambia, you must belong to PF. Apart from that, nothing is going to happen. And you are watching. You are watching. Can't you see that Eddie Galungu is a demon? Eh? They are the people that call me a satanist. They are the people that call me all sorts of names. Can you see? A nice country that Eddie Galungu took over from Sata has been reduced to a joke. Look at that boy has been released today. He has been given born today. Tell me, those police officers that we are harassing him and fighting with him, tell me how are, how are they going to how are they going to behave when they see him tomorrow? They will see him like God. They will see him like God. You know, the Kadas have so much power in Zambia under the leadership of Eddie Galungu. Because Eddie Galungu is, is a corrupt human being. Eddie Galungu, you know, he doesn't care. You know, he doesn't care. Now they have gone to buy a, a lot and a lot of police, uh, police car, riot car, and so on and so forth. Thinking that next year, they, they, when they announce that election is going to be delayed, people will protest. Or when the when election is going on, people will protest. It's not going to happen. You are going next year. You have destroyed Zambia. Zambia does not have reputation anywhere on earth. That is why you continue increasing. You, you know, you have continued increasing the number of COVID cases. And not, the United Nations is not even looking at you because they know that you are lying. You are faking. Donors are not even looking at you. You are just increasing. You are just, every day you use 400 cases. You think donors will come and donate. They know that once it's donated, Eddie Galungu and his friends will eat the money. That's why they don't care. Even if you announce that the whole Zambia has caught coronavirus, who is looking at you? In other, if this thing was happening in South Africa here, donors would have started donating. But they know that PF is a corrupt, a, a corrupt leadership. The worst leadership in Africa. 
Leadership of fools. Le, 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 leadership of idiots. Leadership that don't have respect. You, you, are, you are crooks, but you don't even know how to crook. Today, you have, re, you have released a, a JJ. A boy that came into police station committed aggravated murder, aggravated robbery. According to the papers, today you said it's not robbery. You have given it another thing and you have removed, you have released him. And you think that Zambian people are sleeping. You think that Zambian people are not wise. You, Ed Galungu, you think that Zambia is your kitchen. You think that Zambia is your bathroom where you can use and do anything you want. You are going to be shocked. Next year, believe me, all this crime that you are committing, releasing a criminal, JJ, releasing him and giving him bond, within a twinkle of an eye, you didn't even allow him to sleep in a police cell. A person that ran away for months, a person that ran away for months, eh? and he came today, surrendered himself, you gave him a, 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 a bond. Why didn't you give Chelabond the first day? You have destroyed everything in Zambia. People do not have trust in the court in Zambia. As I'm talking today, people are saying, ah, anywhere that thing is posted on Mwebantu, Watchdog, Coastway, Landscape, uh, 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 Diggers, anywhere it's posted, people are saying, ah, that one is not going to, it's not going, it's, the, the case is not going anywhere. The same way people know that the case of Chilifia is not going anywhere. Eddie Galungu is shedding corrupt people. Eddie Galungu is embracing corrupt people. Eddie Galungu has destroyed the police of Zambia. Eddie Galungu has destroyed the court of Zambia. Police officers are afraid to perform their duty because of cadres under the leadership of Eddie Galungu. What kind of a stupid president is he? Eh? The worst president in the world. A president that is a president that is a, that is destroying the law that's supposed to govern the nation. Eh? They said judge committed aggravated robbery. According to the law of Zambia, you are a lawyer. Eddie Galungu, you are a lawyer. That's why I say you are a charge and bail lawyer. You don't know nothing. That's why you are afraid of coming to international criminal court. Come here and learn how, what, how law is being practiced. You are a lawyer. And on that, on that Zambia, aggravated robber is not bailable. JJ was supposed to be in prison by now. Eh? You have released him to start gallivanting up and down. And the people's life are going to be in danger. Why? Edgar Lungu, why? Eh? I feel pity for you. People of Zambia, I also feel pity for you. Eddie Galungu has taken your your Eddie Galungu has taken your your kind heartedness. Eddie Galungu has taken your goodness. Eddie Galungu has taken the peace that he inherited in Zambia for granted. That's why he behave anyhow he wants, that's how he behaves. Look at Ekada. Eh? JJ. JJ came. I, I, it's, it's there on paper. Go to diggers and see it. He came there. Rob police officers, beat police officers. Today he didn't even spend 30 minutes. He has been given bond. He has been he has been set free. Eh? He has been set free. Chela didn't commit any crime. What crime did Chela commit? Chela only only spoke. Chela Chela defamed some individuals. What is defamation? Eh? Is defamation also a case? Eh? But because of that little defamation, Chela spent more than a week in prison. He didn't have a gun. He didn't have a machete. He didn't beat up anybody. Is he not a Zambian? Why are PF and PF cadres only receiving justice in Zambia? And other poor people are being treated like they are foreigners in their own land. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.